And then Michael looks at me and he goes, now, say a Hail Mary. And I looked at him and I was confused. I, I mean, I was filled with power, guys. I mean, I was born again. I was a totally different creature. And so, so I'm sitting there going, wow, and this is what happened. And so then he says, do it. So I do it and, I, and nothing happened 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 now there's a couple of people doing anti Jonathan Kleck YouTube videos, which is great. Just that's a badge of honor for me. But when someone does a video and says, I have an honest question for Jonathan Kleck, I went and looked at their video and I wrote eight, seven or eight comments using all the scriptures and they erased all the scriptural comments I wrote. They, they erased all the proof I put on their channel. I just want to comment to you, whatever, Ash, or whatever your name is, you are pathetic. You said you had an honest question. I gave you all those honest answers. May the Lord rebuke you. You're pathetic. I gave you the scriptures, and you erased the word of God off your channel. You're a total fraud. And nothing happened. 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 Hey YouTube, I just wanted to point a couple of things out here on Jonathan Clegg's latest video. The new race of beings being birthed, blah blah blah. Um, he calls out Ash, Rock of Truth. And uh, this Ash fella, you know, he's just a babe in Christ. He's only been making Christian videos for about five months. And uh, so, but he's calling him out. He, he says that Ash asked him a question and he, and he turned around and uh, deleted his comments. So, Cleck has his panties in a wad on that. And um, another case in point I want to make here is when I did a search for Ash uh, Rock of Truth, you can't find his channel. I mean, it's very, very difficult to find his channel. If you see here, I typed in Ash Rock of Truth, and uh, you just can't find it. So, I mean, it's, a, it's another case of anybody that's uh, trying to expose Clack, which this Ash fella has done some videos exposing him. At first he was a believer and I did some videos on him and uh, or sent some comments to him and uh, I think he kind of woke up. Other people were commenting too but there again um, Ash Rock of Truth channel you can't find it. Look how far you have to you can't find his channel at all. Look how far you have to scroll down to even find a video of his. So this is uh, again another point uh, of proof that uh, you know Clex being protected and those trying to expose him are being buried um, here's another shot of his channel again I told you he's only been doing Christian videos for five months five months see it right there so um, we'll go ahead and close these two windows out now another thing I want to point out is the scriptural references they condemned Clegg for what he's doing. Um, here it says uh, in Romans chapter 2, Therefore art thou inexcusable, O man, whoever thou art that judges. For when 
wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest does the same thing. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to include that in the video, and then I'm also going to include uh, the scriptural references that I just pointed out. Okay, and let you hear and see those for yourself. Also, one little thing I want to throw in here real quick. You know, Jonathan's always talking about Psalm 82, Psalm 82, you are gods, you are gods. I told him a thousand flipping times. I've done videos on it, and he refuses to take the correction. But um, this is, uh, you know, Mike Heiser, PhD, not a crackhead like Cleck, um, says that, uh, points out that Psalm 82 says, God has taken his place in the divine council in the midst of the gods he holds judgment the realm excuse me the term uh, divine council is used in hebrew and somatic scholars to refer to the heavenly host the pantheon of divine beings who administers the affairs of the cosmos he's not talking about those pharisees that jesus was talking to that's just in the scripture and it's talking about an event that happened in heaven where satan was there among them Okay, God wasn't down holding a council on earth, clack. And so with that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start passing out the scripture here, and then I'm going to give you rock-solid proof that Cleck is doing the exact same thing that he's accusing Ash of. I say hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite. So with that, watch the whole video. You'll see it. I called it for, out four years ago. Four years ago I called this out. And here we are today. So, you guys enjoy. Hello, YouTube. I just want to make another video here. I'm going to go around the mountain with false teachers. And um, I just want to point a scripture out to you guys. Um, this is John 18.36. It says, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. So, you know, Jesus flat said that if, you know, his, his servants would fight for him if his kingdom was from this world. Um, we're doing, his, we're supposed to be doing our best to bring his kingdom, to bring on his kingdom, to build his kingdom here. And um, there's a lot of false teaching going on. And, um, you know, some of, the, some of the false teaching has come from, you know, what I've considered to be Christian brothers. Um, Case in point, Jonathan Clack. I've been following the guy for years and supporting him for years, but he just recently banned me off his channel. <clears throat> and I had to make uh, a video on him and his false uh, serpent seed doctrine. And um, he sent me an email, actually, he sent me three emails. And um, he says, I'm sorry, but your hostility, as well as your erroneous position, is nothing short of the Pharisees. I have blocked you. But you might want to come listen to the radio program this Wednesday. Peace and grace. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, he's removed all the comments, but I still I kept my Google Plus up. So, here's the comments he's talking about. Um, one of his servant puppet minions following him on this, serp, on this serpent seed doctrine had written in his defense and I replied and actually I had to repost my comment a couple of times until I figured out that Jonathan had blocked me because it kept showing up, disappearing, showing up, disappearing, showing up, disappearing. And um, so then then I finally figured, like I said, I finally figured out Jonathan sent me notice. But I said to him, uh, Robert Smith, uh, you twist the scriptures and make them appear to say what you want. Um, yes, we inherited the penalty of sin from our parents, but that is a far cry different from being the offspring of an evil entity. That said, God would never, never, never accept Satan's seed as being legitimate. If Cain were Satan's seed, which he is not, then God would never have told him 
he would be accepted if he did right. Note Satan and his offspring can never do right. And this before Christ even arrived to offer atonement for sinners. Also note that God elected to destroy all fallen angel seed in Genesis 6. Thus, if God would have spared Cain of being allegedly Satan's seed, then why would God destroy all of Satan's seed or the fallen angel seed in Genesis 6? Think. <clears throat> Again, Matthew 13 makes it clear, a clear distinction between God's children and or his uh, uncorru and or his uncorrupted bloodline versus the corrupted bloodline of Satan slash fallen angels. Envision holding a wheat seedling in one hand or your right hand and uh, a tear seedling in the left hand. Um, they are two different seedlings and to further illustrate this fact his angels will gather and separate the wheat from the tares. Uh, it's as clear as day. And again, if ate fruit equals had sex, which it does not, um, then Adam had sex with Satan too. And that would have made him bisexual. Do you really believe Adam was bisexual? I mean, really. Now show me in the Bible where it says same. You can't. As eating fruit is a lot different different than doing the hanky-panky okay so you know I've uh, and then this this other lady uh, did a video and, and I gotta give Jonathan credit on some stuff and part of the thing that intrigued, intrigued me about him for years now is his ability to look at pictures and logos and things like that and see hidden meanings I mean you gotta give credit where credit's due he has a gift in that area exactly where that gift comes from at this point I can't say um, but I commented on this video that this C. Urbana 2 did on Macy's uh, Thanksgiving Parade 2015, you see it here on the screen. Satanic nu nuclear bomb, um, New York City float, subliminal. Uh, and I just made a comment. I said, Jonathan's ability to see things is indeed truly amazing, but there is a dark side to Jonathan. He actually believes that Eve had sex with Satan, and we are all the offspring of same. He also believes that we are fallen angels in human bodies. I kid you not. And that Cain was the child of Satan and Eve. Be very careful as he refuses to see the truth and will ban you for sharing same. So, um, then I go to another browser and I look it up and, uh, you know, my comment. And guess what? It's not here. Looks like she's already removed it. Okay, it's not here. Three weeks ago, blah, blah, blah. Not here. Okay, so then I'll go to <clears throat> newest comment. Because I just made this comment a few hours back. It's not here. So, what I want to talk to you guys about is I did a video about 11 months ago now called We Are Being Invaded. And I warned you that a lot of people that you know, you know on a daily basis could be family members, could even be spouse, could be uh, your employer, could be some friends. I actually believe these people are becoming demonically possessed, okay? Um, because, you know, you, people are just changing. They just change. Sometimes in some cases they just get change overnight, like you don't even recognize them, which this video uh, goes into depth. And so I'm wondering if we're having a problem even here on YouTube some of our Christian brothers and sisters just fallen so far off you know, the path that uh, they're actually being controlled by demonic entities. And I'm really wondering about Jonathan at this point. Um, he recently did a video. He says, look at the skin sin we're in. And this is uh, you know, a video that he did. And he's trying to convince us that we are children of the serpent I kid you not and I still have you know this this exchange going on that I did with some people on his channel and um, uh, and you know there's nothing hostile here I mean I, I was stern in some of my comments like you know you read the scriptures 
what does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? So let's get into this uh, serpent seed line for just a minute. <clears throat> and the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees, plural, of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, singular, in the midst of the garden, God had said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Well, God, actually, you know, Eve was lying a little bit there because God didn't say don't touch it. He said don't eat of it. <clears throat> so, then it goes down, and it says that when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, not sex, food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree, and a tree to be desired, to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and she did eat, and she also gave to her husband to eat, and he did eat. Okay? That's important. She gave it to her husband, and he did eat too, of the tree, for food. Okay? Good for food. Keep it. Stay tuned. Okay? Um, then the Lord came walk into the garden and called to Adam, and um, the Lord said, uh, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldn't eat, should not eat. And the man said, The woman which thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord said to the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The Satan, the serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Okay? Remember that. The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Eat. Didn't say I had sex. Okay? And it goes down to Genesis 4.1. It says, And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Okay? A little bit further, um, down, talking about the, the offerings between the, of uh, Cain and Abel to the Lord. Uh, it says, But uh, unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. Talking about the Lord not having respect for Cain's offering it. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said to Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shall thou not be accepted? Accepted? Again, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou not doest well, sin lieth at the door. Lieth at the door. Hadn't entered him yet, but it lieth at the door. Okay? And it says, And until thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with his brother Abel, and it came to pass that when they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Okay? Then these guys get, uh, okay, well, let me continue. And Cain went out in the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod and on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. Now, going back to Genesis 4, 1, Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain. Now, Jonathan and, and all these other serpent seed doctrine people will say, well, you know, Satan had sex with Eve and she bare Cain. That's, that's not what that says. It's the same, same verbiage here. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch. Okay? So, now, beguiled. Let's talk a little bit about beguile. So it says, a primitive root to lead astray, that is, mentally to delude or morally to seduce. Beguile, deceive, X greatly, X utterly. Okay? So it's not conclusive that it's seduced morally. If we go to 2 Corinthians 11, 3, Paul is talking and he says, But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Okay, so what is Paul suggesting here that, um, you know, Satan's going to have sex with all, all these people? No. Okay. So, you know, beguiled, beguiled, um, basically it just means deceived. So, if we look up Genesis 3.13, 
again, it says, And the Lord said unto the woman, What is this thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Okay? Now, that's the King James. But look at the other versions here. Um, NIV, which I'm not really in love with. Instead of beguiled, it replaced it with deceived. A New Living Translation, instead of beguiled, it replaced it with deceived. Um, English Standard Version, instead of beguiled, it replaced it with deceived. And on and on and on down the list. Uh, Holman Christian Version. Uh, International Standard Version, it says, uh, misled me. Misled is a long way from seduced. So, I think it's pretty clear that um, Satan did not have sex with Eve, and Genesis 4.1 is pretty clear that it says that um, Adam knew his wife, Eve, and um, she conceived and bore Cain. Okay, so this serpent seed doctrine is a bunch of hokey, hooky, hokey, hokey stuff. And um, the point I want to make here is we've got a bunch of false teachers online now, completely and totally perverting the, doc the doctrine of the scriptures. A lot of things that they say are true and accurate, but a lot of things that they say aren't. So what, what I'm saying here is don't let your guard down and, and relax because someone has spoken truth for perhaps long periods of time because you know they can start getting off track off of due north and um, you know if you don't have your armor on uh, and you're not tuned into the spirit and you're not studying the scriptures yourself you can easily follow these guys right in the ditch and that's exactly where I think some of these people are going here's another one right here uh, this guy is one of the biggest liars uh, that I know of on YouTube as well. He call, he's a black Hebrew Israelite, and I put a lot of heat on him, a lot of heat. And um, he badmouths Christians left and right, and he lumps Christians in with Catholics, and you know he claims that all the Christian doctrine is Catholic doctrine, which you know Christians were around long before Catholics were, because Constantine started Catholicism in something like 318 A.D., but yet they were called Christians in Antioch long before Constantine so um, but I've gone around and around about on this I mean this this guy actually identifies with uh, uh, Louis Farrakhan and he, I've done videos on it so if you guys want to know about another false teacher by all means you know look at my channel look him up but I'm really really concerned about the body of Christ I'm really really concerned about uh, you know guys like this guy Pastor Dow and I'm really concerned about my friend and brother who just banned me from his channel for telling the truth because I wasn't hostile. I was firm. Uh, you know, I was saying, no, that's not, you know, what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. And I guess if that's hostile, you know, I, I guess I'm guilty. Color me guilty. I'm hostile. Yet Jesus said, you know, his followers would fight for him. So that's what I'm doing. I'm fighting for him. And so if that makes me a bad guy or offend some of you guys. That's just the way it is. Too bad. And, um, but, so I actually encourage you guys to do a little fighting of your own because we're getting run over. Uh, we got leaders that are allowing uh, the enemy to come in the country. The borders are wide open. They're importing uh, all these refugees in from other countries, and, and they're sucking our economy that's already dry, even drier. And it's fixing to hit the fan in the U.S. And I've been trying to stop, you know, do, doing what I could do to stop a race war because I guarantee you a race war is coming. Like this guy here, all he does is, you know, every time a, uh, you know, cop, the cops, usually white cops, kill a black dude, he does a big video of it. But when 17 black dudes rape a, a white girl and burn her, uh, then, you know, I mean, there's no video of that. So these guys are stacking the deck and they're hiding behind the word uh, to do it. And um, most of you guys are so asleep, you can't see it. And um, I'm beginning to wonder if you even want to hear it. I think what's happening is um, so many of these false teachers have been talking about a pre-trib rapture that you guys are actually buying into it and that you think, well, oh well, I'm not going to have to deal with it because the Lord is going to come and snatch me out of here any old day. And uh, like Jonathan says, when the bombs come down, we go out. Well, yeah, when the bombs come down, we're vaporized. We've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> so, you know, I guess we will be going up. 
But, um, you know, my Bible tells me that we're not going anywhere in the last day at the last trump. So, but that's another video. But anyway, uh, I'm doing my best and uh, to wake as many people up. And, you know, Jonathan sent me a comment. and says, why, why do you have a PayPal link on your uh, uh, YouTube channel? I says, well, could it be because people actually have asked me to, you know, they'd like to donate to my uh, ministry and they want to know how to do it. And since I'm in the Philippines, uh, you know, it kind of makes it a lot easier to, you know, get funds like that. I mean, like, you know, he hasn't received donations or he hasn't asked for donations. So the guy's just, I'm really concerned about him. Okay. So if you guys are concerned about him and you appreciate him, do me a favor and, and, and you know, try and bring this guy in. Because though he has some gifts uh, on being able to see signs and, you know, read things, not everything he says is true. And um, definitely the certain serpent seed doctrine is, is not true, which I just proved to you. And also, I mean, it's just total insanity to think that we are the embodiment of fallen angels. You know, fallen angels cannot receive salvation. We can. Enough said. Okay? We're fallen. We're not fallen angels. Okay? Love you guys. And take care. And I appreciate your support. All you guys, all my friends out there. Thank you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And um, if I can do anything at all in the world for you, let me know. I'll do my very best. Thank you now. Take care. Bye-bye. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Chapter 2 Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest, doest the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to every man according to his deeds. To them who